What's up guys and this is episode 4 of the FIFA 22 create a club career mode. We're using Zilla FC that is our club and I'm just looking at it just now. We have a 98 overall for our manager ratings which is quite crazy. I mean we haven't lost a match this season if I'm not mistaken. Yeah we've played 11 games we've drawn 2 and we have lost none so we are still undefeated. We have an undefeated run so I'm pretty sure that's adding to the 98 rating that we have out there. In FIFA 21, it was quite different because, like, often your manager ratings go drop down, even if you're doing good, I think. So, another really, really good thing is our goal difference is 10 over the our position. And then Sheffield United is right on our tail. I mean, they're on 28 points. We are on 29. I think it's because of that draw that we had with Huddersfield in the last episode. So, I mean, that's a really, really, really tight top two i mean if i if i fuck up they're gonna go up and if they fuck up i'm gonna move away from them so let's hope that it's the later not the former all right so this is a rather tough month for us other than the match against blackburn rovers let's just hope we can have a full green month because we're playing this match against nottingham forest because they are third on the table and i mean we need to put them in their place really then we will play the Carabao Cup match against Leeds United and then we'll play the Sheffield United match. So that is three matches this episode. Then we're simming both the Reading match and the Preston match. Our team is fully fit because we are just coming out of the international break. I just wanted to check that this stuff was on legendary because <laughs> the matches in the last episode were really, really easy. Let's hope that we can also glide through Nottingham Forest because I really do not want to give up points for Sheffield United, who is right on our tail. There's one point behind us, so we have to go out. We have to go all out in this match. Rivera, Rivera has gone up one overall from 78 to 79. I think Devo also has. Oh no, he hasn't. So it's just Rivera that I noticed, and and Bakari, Rivera and Bakari have gone up. I think Alra Hall too has gone up to 78. So I'm not sure. And then Torvald Zinn has gone up to 79 as well. So I'll talk to you guys after this match. If you do like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also drop comments on what you want to see at the end of this video. One man, the focus of attention. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Nottingham Forest against the Blades. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And they kick off here. statement well here we can see it again and he does so well to skip beyond the defender it just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away that's a really nice goal sure. Joao Carvalho here can he make it count and the ball is loose Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Well, he has the measure of his man. Opportunity, and it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. 
Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plomb. It's a great goal. 25 minutes on the clock. Alex, thank you very much. He could pick out a teammate. Good technique displayed. It could be. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here it is again. And I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. opportunity that's high level goalkeeping well that's a fantastic save he's such a good keeper and the cross is very much on the clearance wasn't decisive Strandberg and a good looking pass He's keen on cutting in. Not to be in terms of the finish. The first 45. Faulkner. Zaid. How about the cross? He's gone and fired. Piece of finishing, magnificent goal. Let's see this again because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal! Well, let's see if something comes of this. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and the movement is good. Faulkner, almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. And plenty of room in the wide area. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And time for the change now. And over comes the corner. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal the ball again body in the way oh he's really opened them up here is it going to be oh burying them beneath an avalanche of goals no let up here well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Now a decent position. 
Dangerous looking attack. And touched onto the frame of the goal. And in at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper badly at fault. Well, here it is again. And I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. One minute. And that is that. The referee... Okay, so this is the third match in the row that I am scoring six goals. And it's honestly just so crazy because... Why the hell... Why the hell... Did, why the hell did the game become so easy? Because I was barely, like, beating people in the previous episodes and and like all of a sudden i'm scoring six goals per match like it's so great so that's 18 goals in three matches from this team and that is just absolutely bizarre if you ask me just so i should update you on the number of goals that have been scored by the players in the team devo is still leading with 11 and rivera has caught up to him with 11 as well um George Faulkner is on seven. Karim Zaid is catching up to him. I mean, he was on seven the last time I checked, and Karim Zaid is on six now because he was on three the last time. Strandberg, Suho is on four now. I think he was on one the last time. Then Mohamed Al-Rahal has scored two goals for the team. Gabriel Shagari has scored two as well. Um, Frank Dahl from Norway is on one goal. Todd is on one goal as well. I mean, it's still a very little amount of players that have scored for the team this season but i mean i don't mind as far as i'm getting all the goals i wonder who will be the player of the season this year i'm going to sim past the reading match and we win them 2-0 and we are at the pressing match this time i'm going to sim it with my second team so let's just do this real quick and let's see what the result is going to be are we going to win and yes we do just barely i both scored and have cheese scored so that's pretty good from the second team boys the scout report for ryan gravenberch has come in so i'm going to try and buy kamavinga first and if this doesn't go through i'm going to get ryan gravenberch so i'm offering 13 30 million for kamavinga but i'm pretty sure that wait they want to take michael harrison and they'll take 17 million for Kamavinga. That is a really tempting offer because Michael Harrison is our defender that is six six tall. I mean I don't mind selling him. Are they going to go for 15 million? Okay, so they agreed. So Kamavinga is coming to our team. Okay, so he wants to play regular football with an important role and I mean we're just going to agree to that because he's going to be playing over George Faulkner. I mean George Faulkner is the captain but you know i mean i'm bringing a better player in so he's looking for five years no release clause at all 30 and let's make the signing bonus 500 pounds sorry euros as well hopefully this this should work okay and he's high he's happy with that so eduardo kamavinga is now in our team he's not here yet because the transfer window isn't open so when the transfer window opens then we will get Kamavinga and Harrison is going to be gone. That is quite sad because he's one of the creative players that came with the team. He got replaced by Odd Wild and yeah, he's going to be gone pretty soon now. That's, that's sad. I'm going to be using my first team for this match as usual. And there's really not much to talk about anymore. So I'm just going to talk to you guys after this match is over. Our cameras on one man in terrific form and top scorer in the competition. Stay with us on EA TV as he tries for more. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we have action to bring you from the round of 16 in the Carabao Cup. It's the Blades up against Leeds United. Yes, Derek, we're getting to the business end now. Just 16 teams remain. Who can hold their nerve and book a place in the quarterfinals? We're 90 minutes from finding out. It should be a great game. And the match begins.
Strandberg. Faulkner. Zaid. Surely. Touched onto the woodwork. Behind. Nobody catches him, and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and we know what the result is. Rivera. And fed forwards. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. The cut back. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here, and the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. Gagliardini. Robin Koch. Jamie Shackleton. Moving into the advanced position. Is it going to be? And now he must score. And he finds the man. He could hardly miss. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. And slipped through beautifully. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. But it did look dangerous for a moment. But the keeper has it now. And getting across to stop it. Timely intervention. Devoe. Oh, what an opportunity. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And fired against the crossbar. Opportunity in the wide area. Safe pair of hands did his job. Gagliardini has it. Now Rodrigo. It's opening up for them. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure. Faulkner. It looks promising. He's played it over to the near post. Well, not the best clearance. There's the final whistle. <sighs> okay, so I guess that's a Premier League side for you. I mean, I mean, really tried we had a lot of opportunities that we wasted for god knows why like we had like a lot of opportunities <laughs> Zai just looked like he was crying just now but i mean oh well i mean things like this happen we've met a club that is better than us and well now i know that it's the, the game is not really easy those teams are just really 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 below our level now i was going to i was going to change the ultimate if i beat leeds united but I'm not going to change the ultimate anymore because, well, who knows what Sheffield is going to show us because we're, we're even away from home against Sheffield. So I'm going to play that match and that will be the end of the episode. This this goal, I don't know why all the wild slid too early because, like, I wanted to switch to Al Rahal, yeah, and, like, enough switch to 
Odd Wild and Keen Slade instead of our house so like the 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 low cross went through and then they scored. That was their second goal, I think, or their third. So uh well these things happen. I mean it's sad that we lost the match, but how did he how did he miss that? That was like the best opportunity. That was the best opportunity. And, and, and this one as well. I'm like, how how are these guys missing these things? Like these guys are scoring for fun against Preston and other clubs. So like why can't they just score? Like it's as easy as scoring in this match too. Alright, so it's the match against Sheffield Wednesday. Suho has gone up a an overall to 79. And although we're out of the Carabao Cup, there's still the FA Cup. I mean Who knows if we're going to face Manchester City first? That's just going to be crazy. So um I mean it's really nice that I mean we've played the Premier League side now we know exactly what to expect from an even bigger Premier League side. It might be early in the season, but it's always significant when it's first against second, a game that could have a big say in who eventually wins the title. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone, always a joy to be here in South Yorkshire. We're at Bramall Lane. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. Turn up the defence here. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Well, it's usually quite hard to predict the outcome of a game like this. On the one hand, you have the hosts with the watertight defense. Hang on, Derek, what a chance this is. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. But really, the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal. Oliver McBurney. A creative look about this. Fleck. It should be. And he read it really well. Fine save. And the cross into the middle. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, those stats tell us everything. Sheffield United have controlled the last 15 minutes and have been really positive with it. They're creating opportunities and it's surely only a matter of time before they draw level here. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Strandberg. Zaid. What can they do from here? Showing a lot of guile there. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and then through on goal and just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And tidily played. Good technique displayed. Chance to whip it in. He takes aim. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again, and he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. 
It's Sheffield United facing Nottingham Forest. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Opportunity missed. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And possibilities here. Well denied, only by the post. Well, he got to the ball first, but he just couldn't keep... This is what we love to see. Back to you, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Now with Rivera. He's in with a chance. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Now with Rivera. Zaid. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. What? I mean, like, he couldn't just let us finish the attack. I mean, I wanted to, like, get six goals four games in a row in the, in the, in the championship, but the referee... Just didn't want that to happen. I mean, <laughs> whoever. I mean, okay, this is turning out to be pretty, pretty, pretty easy. We're definitely going to just brush through this season of the championship. It means that my team is good enough to compete in the Premier League, around mid-table of the Premier League. And, and that is quite interesting to hear, if you ask me. Now, even though they were pressing and pressing in this in the first half, we were still able to run away with another high-scoring win. And I think we have the best attack and best defense in this league right now. We are, I think that is seven, seven points ahead of Sheffield United. And to be honest, this is really, really why I want to see. We're still undefeated. I think there are around, around 40 games or 42 games or 43 games in the I'm not quite sure how many games there are, but we'll see at the end. So, um, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Trust me, this is very, very good content. And uh, if you have any comments on what you want to see in the series in the future, make sure to put that down in the comment section. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.